Traumatic events can shake up a community, but it can also weigh heavy on the youth. That's why 13 News' Matt McCabe spoke with wellness professionals today about how families can support their students. He joins us now with their tips. Matt. Brittany, mental wellness is an important topic, but it doesn't have to be co a complicated one. And there's also tips for what families at home can do before and after a traumatic event. A tragedy leaves in its wake a wave of emotions. They're struggling with their mental health for a multitude of different reasons. For young students, access to mental health matters before and after traumatic moments. And their wellness depends on different factors. Where they're at, where they're living, the environment, the neighborhoods, the school, um, they just don't have the, the supports and the safety nets in place. And those that are there, they just can't fully meet the need. But help can start at home so that families can fully meet the need. A lot of times our children are going to uh, escalate their worry or fears or anger based upon the adults in their life escalating that fear and worry and anger. Modeling positive behavior can set a healthy precedent for children navigating a difficult moment in life. These kids that are the problem right now, they're actually the solution. They're, they're leaders already, and a lot of them are leading destructively in our streets because it's what they know. They are involved with involved with a life-giving activity. All of the kids that are, every one of them that are out there doing these things and out shooting and that, they're, they want to see Rockford look different. And looking different can start with thinking different. And Pokey said activities can help engage youth in their school and their community and preserve their mental wellness. It makes things like school seem like a pathway to success rather than a mundane part of their day. Brittany, back to you.